my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. So in this video, I'm going to show you a method, a strategy that you can use to 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 take a make a quantum leap in your soloing because uh, of one mistake we often make and the cure for it. The mistake we make is that we try to play solos on a on a level too high for us. Basically, that sounds like a boring concept we're talking about now, but it really isn't because if you'll do the simple stuff I I tell you to do in this video, I promise you, uh, over a couple of weeks you'll start to really see amazing changes in what you do when you solo. See, we aim. Let's say that you have basic soloing down here, right? That's the first level where you can you can do stuff like you know. <laughs> Or, you know, you know, stuff like that. You know, repetitive, uh, cool licks, and you can really, do, it's simple soloing, right? There's not a lot of going back and forth and using arpeggios and all kind of stuff. It's just simple stuff that just loops, uh, you know, uh, in your solo, and you end these simple uh, licks or ideas you play. And that's the first level, really. And then, but we don't stay there for long because we want to get to the next level. We want to do those flashy solos. So we always aim a step too high. But because we're not done with level one, because we don't master that totally to the, the highest level, then we will never have that platform. So we go to level two without having the platform of being able to return back into level one. And so we basically scramble up here and it's super frustrating to play solos and always be dissatisfied with them. You know what I'm talking about here? If you do know what I'm talking about on a very intimate level, like you are doing this every day or every time you're performing, then please take two steps back. I remember doing this myself and I really started with the blues, basically. I went all the way back to the blues and I started playing these super simple ideas, right? We got something like, you know, uh, let's say we got right in the background. And then instead of trying to go all over the place, I just started playing. Oh, sorry, let me let me hit the right key here. What was I playing in C? Right? And I and I started to really enjoy that simplicity of just playing like a theme almost, like a melody, and then following the chords around. And that became the Power Blues Skill Builder program. I created a whole program out of that that period of time where I was focusing on my blues uh, playing skills like that. And that taught me to play in all styles of music. But that returning back to those simple structures suddenly allowed me, and I stayed there for long because I really enjoyed that, even though I thought, this is so simple, this is duh, right? This is beginner stuff. But I stayed there for long enough to actually master <clears throat> playing really cool solos at that level with those simple melodic little phrases. And then I had my platform. So when I went to the next level and started playing some more, you know, started, started being all over the place, I could do that, but from that platform, so I was going like, you know, I could, uh, let me just demonstrate, this is important, so let me just, okay. right, I could then, you know, come from that platform of, right, that was my platform, and I could totally effortlessly play a solo. Right? And then I could go. And as soon as I was into something that was too complex, I would just return back to. Right away. 
Mm -hmm. Right? Because I had that foundation. When you have that foundation, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff. Use arpeggios, do all kinds of other tools, but you won't be frustrated because you can always save yourself by returning back to that stable base of playing something that people really like because they like those repetitive things going on. They like to be able to go Because now we know what happens, right? We can actually sing along almost to what you do. Right? It makes sense. It's like phrases. It's, 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 it's like something that, that, that we can listen to and really follow along with. And the... You know, all of that stuff or the whatever... <laughs> that's fine. That's good. It's, it's a good way of putting spice into that simplicity, that melodic simplicity. But if it takes you over, and if that's what you're aiming for before you have the other thing in place, you're just going to flounder and just... Uh, duh, right? And feel like a... I felt like a loser, basically, when I was playing, because I had the, some skills down, right? It was like, I should be better than this, right? I should be able to really kill it when I'm soloing, but I wasn't, because I didn't go for the fundamental skill of being able to just, you know, put my... Back then, we had actual monitors on the stage, right? So we could put our legs up on those and have that really cool, uh, <laughs> you know, and just grind it with a, just a couple of notes, just mm, hitting it home, right? Because I didn't have that skill. I couldn't do all the other things. So please, how do we do this? <laughs> Let me just give you the answer. In a simple exercise that is all about sticking to repetitive, loopable phrases and then ending those, following the periods of the music. This is the solution. And I, I, I urge you to do this every single day for at least a month. Uh, and it's fun. You come up with something that you can loop, that you can be repetitive about, and then you just stick with it and then end it. Here, we got a, a simple track, you know, mid-tempo. It's the same chord going. It's just an E in the background. Uh, and as I said, you can find jam tracks on our website, guitarmastery.net, that, that suits your purpose. Uh, just create a user profile and log in, and you'll see a menu item that says jam tracks, and you, there's hundreds of them. Um, so I got that steady beat going, so I could just start with just playing something as simple as, you know... Just one little... And then a little variation again. A new period here. And here we go. Yeah. All right. See what I'm doing? I'm really playing with the music here. I'm focusing on keeping that rabbit repetitive pattern going. Whatever I play, I just keep playing it. And then I'm ending it and shifting to something else once the period is over. And the period can be two bars, can be eight bars, can be 16 bars. I don't care. You can, in this track, for instance, you can hear the drums going, and then we're, you know, let's just not play anything. That's one. You can play a lick here, and another lick, right? And again, another lick. Same lick, right? Repetitively. And we're halfway there now. Okay, so, uh, and okay, and now turn completely around, and we're all over again. A new lick, right? New lick. And Halfway. And whole loop again, right? That's the discipline. You might think, duh, that's simple, that's boring, that's, you know, but that's, that's somebody who's ambitious who's saying that, right? That's what people want, right? We can understand this. We want that fundamental thing going on that, that is music, right? That's, that is sentences. And we want to be able to, you know, play with you. 
enjoy that with you when you're playing uh, in front of an audience. So, so, and this is a simple practice method. Whatever you start playing, when the music starts playing, you repeat it in a loop, and then you end it, you know, halfway there, you know, whatever you want, but you have to follow those periods in the music. If you're just playing random notes on top of, of something in the background, and you get surprised when the music stops, or when the singer starts singing again, because you're in the verse, or you go, what? Okay, yeah, the solo's over, okay. That's not playing a solo. That's just rambling. Like, like, that's like, you know, doing a speech and then you just say random stuff like, Hey, my name is uh, Carl. I like to go skiing in the summer. And, you know, just coming up with random, you know, on your guitar. That's not soloing, right? <laughs> you, you need to you need to focus on what goes on in the music and follow the course around. And the easiest way to to build that foundation is to play repetitive loopable licks, which is part of the amazing program we got out right now, where we, where we got forty five of these babies that you can use in any song. Little loopable patterns that you can build in. Some of them are really easy. Some of them are slightly more complica complicated. But you have an amazing library in that course of these loopable licks. So you can do this over and over and over again and never run out of ideas. So go check that out. And I look forward to seeing you in the video tomorrow. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.